Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I take care and revamp my box braids. This video was requested to me by Hallie, so shout out to Hallie. Thanks girl for asking how I went ahead and did them. If it wasn't for her comment, honestly I wouldn't have made this video at all because I felt like you guys are more so here for my wig videos and not my natural hairstyles, but I'm glad somebody asked and I'm here to deliver for you. So if you want to see how I went ahead and achieved these bohemian box braids, then just keep on watching. Alright, starting off, my hair is nice and clean. I went ahead and shampooed and conditioned my roots to get any type of buildup out of my hair. Today I'm going to be using this I Define Wave Hair, Wave Braiding Hair, honestly. I've never seen this brand in store, but I got sent this um, from a hair company, so I decided to try it out. I have it in the color 1B slash 30, and the color blend is really, really nice. So, first things first, um, I went ahead and started taking down some of my braids. I already liked the way they were parted, so I just took one braid out at a time while I worked on it and applied some edge wax to my hair as well so that everything was nice and slicked down looking real neat <laughs> and then the method I'm going to be using today is the rubber brand rubber band <laughs> crochet method I'm applying some hair oil to the rubber band as well so that way there's not much friction on my hair and it slides gently against my hair and it doesn't put any type of tension on it when you're applying the rubber band I'm just letting you know right now don't apply it too too tight because you do need a little bit of space to slide that crochet needle underneath now taking a reasonable amount of hair, um, I went ahead and put that crochet needle underneath so that I can add the hair. The amount of hair I used for this style, um, I know it comes in three bundles, so I divided each of those into three. So each pack of hair gave me nine braids. So I hope that makes sense to you guys, but um, yeah, I used that amount of hair. For the front, I don't have as much hair on my sides, so I took a little bit less of hair to add. But, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and tighten that rubber band once I slide that crocheted hair underneath so that way everything is nice and tight against the scalp. But like I said, not too tight because you don't want to break your hair off. <laughs> and now I'm taking half a section from each side of that hair and adding it to my natural hair that's out so that way it has enough to cover it. And then I'm going to just start going ahead and do a traditional three strand braid. Take your time with this. You want your base of your hair to be nice, tight, and wrapped around so that way your braid is not slipping. And then as you're braiding, you want to make sure you're taking the time to make sure the hair is not getting all knotted. And I'm going to just tell you right now, this hair frustrated me because, girl, you could already see it tangling up. So, um, you know, if it wasn't for me getting sent this hair for free, I probably would not have used this um, to do this style again. But it has lasted me a pretty good amount of time, so no complaints in, in that category, just the fact that it tangles really easy. Um, now, with that traditional three-strand braid, you do want to make sure you are tucking your natural hair underneath, so that way none of your natural hair is exposed. This will help keep your box braids nice and clean and not um, frizzy or anything down the shaft of the braid. Because girl, let me tell you one thing, you want to make sure that you're protecting your natural hair and not exposing it. So, again, I just went ahead and added the rubber band, brushed my edges up, in it. And now I'm going to show you guys how to get the messy bohemian style. So you're going to start with that traditional three strand braid. Tuck your natural hair, apply some extra edge wax to your natural hair as well just so that it can help blend it in and not look as messy. And then at some point, wherever you want, take a little piece of the braiding hair out. Find a way to <laughs> find a way to pull it to the side. As you can see, I'm struggling. Um, and then just continue your braid all the way down. You can do this multiple times throughout the hair, or you know, just take out one piece 
it really doesn't matter honestly it's whatever you want it to be like I am falling in love with these bohemian styles that's why I did my faux locks a couple videos back I'll go ahead and leave that link somewhere right on the screen but um, I don't know I just love the messy natural look I just feel like a goddess and it just I don't know y'all I've been loving natural protective styles lately like your girl's getting a little, you know, over the wig scene right now. So, um, once you get to the bottom of the braid, this is how you're going to seal it. No burning the edges, no dipping it in hot water, nothing like that. You will just go ahead and wrap it around a few times and tie it in a knot. Trust me, this is so, so easy, especially when you have um, the ends left out with a nice curl pattern or a wave. Nice and clean, stay secured. And like I said, no matter what, um, you can just go ahead and take the hair out randomly. So wherever you want it in the braid to come out, just set a little piece aside and continue braiding. Super easy, super simple. And honestly, it did not take me that long to do this style. Overall, to do my entire head, um, I think it took about six hours. Would have been a lot faster if I had somebody to help me part my hair because, girl... Ooh, it was a hot mess, but anyway, to finish off this style, because I didn't do the entire top of my head, the top is a little bit frizzy from these braids being like a month old, so I'm just going to take some non-alcoholic foam wrap and apply that all over these braids, all over my hair, get it nice and laid, and trust me, I just love this stuff. I pile it on and it really really helps so then I'm taking my silk scarf looking like a little pirate and, and tying my hair down for a few minutes just until that foam wrap dries and then you know this is the fun part you get to accessorize you get to make it your own you get to make it cute and honestly I felt like a little goddess with this um, for the strings I just went ahead and got some stretchy string from my beauty supply store I think it was like honestly like two or three bucks and just decided to wrap them around a few braids and you know add some beads make it look cute but overall I am living for this style I honestly think once these braids get too old I'm seriously gonna just redo them because I'm living for this you wake up you already look cute you ready to go just go ahead and beat your face a little and call it a day and this is what the front looks like Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope it helped some of you. Honestly, it was very, very easy. Not hard at all. I don't know how to start a base braid with box braids um, without a rubber band. So this crochet method honestly helped me so much. And it wasn't hard at all. Honestly, I would say it's beginner friendly because... Yeah, girl has never done her own box braid, so um, it definitely was very easy to achieve. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I revamped my box braids. Um, if you honestly really wanted to, you could do the whole top part of your head. Uh, it doesn't really bother me that much, so that's why I just went ahead and did the perimeter, made it look nice and neat, and honey, we good to go. <laughs> But that is it for today's video, guys. Again, if you liked it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.